But you think, oh man, if I go Tuesday, isn't, isn't there an election going on on Tuesday? Am I right about that? Somebody help me out. Is it this Tuesday or next Tuesday? Okay, yeah. You, you know why I don't care? Because I'm not going to be there. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to do something else. <laughs> and I've been to church where they say, like, if you don't vote, you're not right with God. Okay, chapter and verse on that? If you don't vote, you can't complain. If you don't vote, you're not right with God. You gotta be, you know, if you don't vote, you're supporting Obama or whatever. But you know what the bottom line is? Going down there and voting on Tuesday is not going to fix our country. For one, re one reason why is that all the candidates are the same. That's one, that's one big reason. Okay. And you know, I'm not, I don't have time to go into that. None of them are for the biblical principles that we believe in and uphold. None of them. So, you know, why would I go down and just vote for the flavor of the month, you know, or whatever? It, you know, when the government has their boot on your head, it doesn't matter whether it's the right boot or the left boot, you know, that's yeah. stepping on your head, you know. So, you know, but, but, but number two, you have to understand is that what's really going to bring freedom to our nation is if, is if we get right with God. Because if we get right with God, if we actually obey God, if, if, the, if the pastor, forget the politicians, if the pastors would actually start preaching righteousness and holiness, and if the Christians would start seeking after the Lord and cleaning up their lives and living a godly life, you know what God would do? He would bless us. Because when God sees people that are doing right, he blesses them. And when he looks down upon those that are wicked and ungodly, he punishes them. And how does he punish them? He brings them into bondage. And all throughout the history of Israel, when they sinned, they were put into bondage. And when they did right, they were liberated. And it's all through the book of Judges. Live a wicked life, you go into slavery. Live a clean and godly life, God gets you out. God sends a deliverer. God sends a judge. You know, we're looking for some savior today that's going to come in 2016, you know, and save us from what the course that our country is on, right? But look, God's not going to send us a savior like that because we're, we're still in that phase of judges where we're still worshiping other gods. So God's not going to send us Othniel. God's not going to send Ehud. You know, God did send Barak, but it was the wrong Barak, okay?